everyone it's Hannah today I'm going to show you a much requested tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these really cute brick stitch sugar skulls I'm not gonna make this intro too long because as you have seen this video is super long I've only just finished filming it and so far I was filming it for two hours so hopefully we can cut that down enough a link to the pattern will be in the description box below so you can go and click and follow the pattern whilst you're following the tutorial hopefully that will make everything a bit easier for you if you don't know what I'm talking about in this video please check out my brick stitch basics video that explains everything that I do and you won't get stuck because if I spent the whole video explaining how to do brick stitch it would make this tutorial that a little bit longer so I decided to speed it along for the tutorial I'm going to be referring to the specific colors that I use in this little guy but if you want to use different colors just switch them out but anyway that is far too much waffling for such a long tutorial let's just get on with it so here is a full list of all the ingredients you're going to need to make this pendant it turns out I didn't use the green beads but I hope you're sitting comfortably get the popcorn ready we are good to go to start with you're going to ladder stitch with eight black beads but yes like I say uh, this footage was an hour and a half, if not two hours long. I've managed to cut it down to whatever length it currently is. Um, I think it's like 35 minutes or something. Yeah. So this is your base row. Then you're going to pick up a one black and one orange bead. We are going to increase on each side of this row. So go through that first thread bridge. I put off making this tutorial for so long because I knew it was going to be such a long one. Worth it though, I'm quite proud of this little guy. You're then going to attach one turquoise bead. And then we got three white beads in the middle of his chinny chin chin. And then we're attaching one turquoise bead. I'm sorry if you feel that this tutorial is going too fast. I couldn't have done it any slower. I'm sorry. Just follow the pattern and you'll be able to master this. And you've got one orange bead. This pattern is full of just increasing and decreasing, so you'll be fine. So then we've got one black bead, but increasing on this end as well. So we're going through the same thread bridge that we went through with the orange bead. bottom bead wasn't sitting flat but I sort it out a bit later when I sew in the tail thread. So now you're going to pick up one black and one turquoise bead and we're increasing on this row as well. So that first thread bridge again. And then you've got one more turquoise bead. And then we've got four white beads we're attaching. And I got myself in a nice little tangle. It's the joys of having long thread. Now we're attaching two turquoise beads. And one black bead we're increasing on this end as well, so go through the same thread bridge as the one you just went through. Now I'm going to stop explaining how to increase because you all know how to do it because you've all watched my basics video. Picking up one black and one white bead, we're increasing on this row as well. Then we've got one more white bead we're attaching. And we have one black bead. This row is going to get a little bit repetitive, but you know, it's the only, one of the only rows that are. One white bead. one black bead. Maybe you'll have a cup of tea or something with you. One white bead. One black bead. Two white beads. And one black bead. We're increasing on this end as well. Actually, this little guy is symmetrical, so if I increase or decrease on one side, I'm doing the same on the other side. Picking up one black, one white bead, we're increasing yet again. 
we need to shape out that jawline. And then you're going to attach eight black beads across for his little mouth. And then one white bead. And one black bead. Then one black, one white, we are increasing here as well. I hope you're all well by the way. This is going to get very chatty as I go through. One black bead. You know what I get like when I film voiceovers. I get very distracted and I get very chatty. One white bead, that's meant to be white, that's not meant to be black. One white bead. One black bead. One white bead. But yeah, my boyfriend's gone away, um, so I haven't seen him since early this morning. So I haven't spoken to anyone all day. So I think I'm gonna get a little bit chatty. One black bead. Not that I've done anything interesting today. All I've done is I've filmed and edited this video. It's taken me over eight hours to do so far, and I'm still doing it now. So <laughs> I hope you appreciate this one white bead. I'm not complaining. I was just stupid to do it all in one day. One black bead, because I'm going to uh, Stuttgart Oktoberfest tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um, one white bead. I won't be drinking beer, because I don't like beer, but hopefully they have wine as well. I'll be eating bretzels and all sorts. One black bead. Maybe don't mind that I get chatty. One white bead. And one black bead, increasing as well. I just like how I have a chat with you and then when I explain what bead I'm attaching next, my voice goes into Blue Peter presenter mode. If you don't know what Blue Peter is, sorry. One black and one white bead, we are increasing here as well. Blue Peter is a kids TV program that I watched when I was younger. I think it's still on. And then you know you're attaching 11 white beads over the top of the mouth. My parents used to watch it. It's been on for absolutely ages, but they do uh, crafty things sometimes one white bead oh no one black bead sorry we're increasing this end as well Ta -da! flowery chin spots delightful now you're picking up one black bead one white bead we are skipping that first thread bridge going under the second as we are decreasing on this row then sew back through those beads in a circular pattern to make sure they sit flat well done me you can do it now you're attaching 10 white beads this is the only boring row with, well these are the only boring rows with a lot of block colour. Because um, as we get further up, they, they get quite jazzy. One black bead decreasing on this end as well, sorry I got distracted. Now you're picking up one black and one white bead, we are increasing on this row. Try not to get yourself in a tangle. Now you're attaching 11 white beads across. Oh, I got stuck. Smooth. Good job me. Attaching that last bead, good job. And one black bead. Going through that same thread bridge again, increasing on that end. Now you're picking up one black bead and one purple bead. We are decreasing, so going through the second thread bridge again. These are for his cheek flowers, or her. This one looks a bit more feminine than the original. The original's got quite like masculine colours. This one's got quite traditionally feminine. Another purple bead. I'm not saying that it definitely is male or female, but who knows. Now we're attaching two white beads. And now three black beads for the bottom of his schnoz, or lack of, his nose hole I suppose. Two white beads we're attaching now. and two purple and one black we are decreasing on this end too so pick up one black and one purple bead we are increasing on this row now you're picking up an orange I love this orange color it goes really well with the turquoise I love a good contrasting color and another purple bead Oh, 
Oh, look how long my nails are getting. I'm most impressed. We've got one white bead we're attaching. If you look back and saw how my nails were when I first started filming, four black beads for the middle-ish of the nose. Um, yeah, you, you would know that I was a severe nail biter. One white bead. But yeah, painting my nails has stopped me from biting them, so that's delightful. I can now do annoying clicky things on things. One purple bead. But you know, like when you're waiting impatiently, I can now tap my nails. One orange bead. Although they are now still very weak um, because I bit them for so long. One purple bead. And one black bead. We're increasing this end too. Pick up one black and one white bead we're increasing here. Attach two purple beads for the top of Le Fleur. Two white beads. Three black. Two white beads. It's nice and symmetrical. Two purple beads, one white bead, and one black bead. We are increasing. I'm just going to grab myself a drink. One black and one white bead. We are increasing this row as well. And then we got five white beads. Two black beads. And then we've got six white beads on this side. Grand. And now you've got one black bead you're increasing on this end as well. Lovely stuff. Now you've got one black bead, one white bead, and we're increasing it yet again. And then we got one pink bead. I love this colour. I bought it because I wanted to make watermelons in the summer and then forgot. Got five white beads. This move to Germany just kind of distracted me on what I was planning to do. Got one black bead for the point of the nose. I got this skull um, approved by, oh, five white beads. I got this skull shape approved by my old uh, housemate who is into sciencey stuff. One pink bead. He, um, he's into biology and, and such like that. One white bead and one black bead, increasing this end. But I had to get this skull shape and nose and such, all approved by him. Um, we've got one black and one white bead we are increasing. I mean, it's not dead correct, but it'll do. Two white beads. And then we got three orange beads. And then four white beads. Have you guys decided what you're gonna be for Halloween yet? I don't even know what I'm doing for Halloween yet, so who knows. Three orange. My Halloween costumes aren't very creative because I'm not very good at sewing. So uh, three white beads. I once went as a bat and made my wings out of a bin liner or like a, a rubbish bag and one black bead. Um, but yeah, the costume went down well. People thought it was very inventive, but it really wasn't. And here's your little scully friend so far. Then we've got one black bead, one white bead. We are increasing. He's growing quite quickly, but these rows are a bit slow. Sorry. <laughs> we've got one pink bead. Then we've got one white bead. One orange, two turquoise. Let me know if you like me filming voiceovers for my brick stitch patterns. If you don't, I can stop. One orange, 
because I am essentially reading out what you have on the screen, but some people, three white, some people like having it said to them. People learn in different ways, so I'm just asking what you prefer. One orange. Also, if you don't like me chatting, let me know, and I'll see if I can change that. Um, two turquoise. I'm not going to promise that I can change it, but I can see if I can not ramble. Or one orange. Like, look how nice the orange and turquoise look together. One white bead. One pink. One white. And one black on the end as we are increasing yet again. And we got one black and one white bead. We are decreasing this time. Slightly off camera, clearly. There we go. We got one more white bead. I was sat awkwardly at the table, so I think my arm was starting to dig into the table a little bit. We got one orange bead. One turquoise. One black. One turquoise. One orange. Two white beads. One orange. One turquoise. One black. One turquoise. One orange. Two blanc. I'm trying to remember my French. I do have a degree in it. I should remember it. And one more noir decreasing this end as well. That's black, by the way. So one black, one white bead, we are increasing on this room. As you can see, I'm running out of thread. I think I used about three meters of thread in total, but one pink. Make sure you start out with a length of thread that is comfortable for you to work with, otherwise you get in a right tangle. One white. I don't show you how to um, change thread in this video. That is in my how to brick stitch video. One orange. Two black, but you would have already watched my how to brick stitch video or know how to brick stitch anyway if you are watching it and you've got this far. One orange, one white, one pink, one white. One orange, two black. That drink is giving me the right gurgles, it's really annoying. One orange. I like to try and film my voiceovers in one take so I don't have to go back and edit it, especially if it's a long one like this. One white, and now I've got me gurgling in the middle of it somewhere, so I need to go back through and fish that out. Unless I just leave it in and see if you can spot it. One pink one white and one black were increasing on this end Ta -da! one black and one white beard decreasing this time as you can see my thread has got longer it's because I've attached more um, I think I've attached two meters though it was a bit too long I get in a bit of a tangle I get some scissors caught in it at some point and oh such hassle. We got one white bead, oh this just shot off the screen, but one orange bead, one turquoise, one 
one black. One turquoise. I'm a bit confused by German weather. Um, I thought it's going to be cold in autumn time and winter time, but one orange. At the moment, it's still quite warm. I haven't even got my coat out yet. Um, I'm a bit concerned. Two pink beads this time. Get it hooked around the face. Oh, Keldram. One orange bead. One turquoise. Does anyone actually ever pronounce it like turquoise? One black bead. Also, I have a mosquito in my bedroom and it has eaten me alive. I have nine bites on me so far over the past two nights. What is this? One turquoise bead. They're super itchy as well and I keep scratching them at night and so they're all like unpleasant. One orange. I'm tr I don't try not to scratch them during the day, which is fine, but when I'm unconscious and asleep. Two white beads. There's not much I can do about it really, is there? I suppose I could wear gloves, but then I get too hot. Ugh, not used to mosquitoes. One black bead. We are decreasing on this row. I forgot to put it in text, but I'm sure you worked it out. One black, one white bead. We are increasing on this row. Oop. One pink bead. One white bead. One orange bead. We're over halfway now, guys. You've done really well if you've managed to stick this far. Two turquoise beads. And then you got one orange bead. My boyfriend and I are thinking about traveling around Germany a little bit in a couple of weeks. One white bead. Is there anywhere in Germany that you recommend going to? Um, I'm currently in Frankfurt, as some of you know. One pink bead. So it doesn't necessarily have to be near Frankfurt. Um, my boyfriend's a teacher and he's on half term. So we can travel a bit further afield one white bead but just let me know if there are any good places to go one orange bead and I wish sure to visit and vlog the experience two turquoise beads one orange bead does anyone else put beading tutorials on to fall asleep to they're so soothing one white bead actually my ones probably aren't that soothing because I'm just here having a chat with you but um, who knows if my voice is soothing or not one white bead but yeah if I have real difficulty sleeping I put on a beading tutorial one white bead off the beaded path is my favorite beading tutorial person to fall asleep to she has such a delightful accent one black bead we are increasing on this side and she's got such a soothing voice I can just put a video and I've gone zonked out maybe I'll give that a go tonight one black and one white bead we are decreasing this time Two white beads. Three orange beads. I'm not going to vlog Oktoberfest tomorrow. Um, one white bead. Because I'm going with a group of people that I don't know that well. And two purple beads. Some of them don't know that I YouTube and I don't want to be whipping my massive camera out. One white bead. And embarrassing myself. And yeah three orange beads um, so I probably won't vlog I might change my mind tomorrow morning and then we got three white beads on this side and one black bead we are decreasing keep an eye out on my Twitter um, you'll soon see if I vlogged or not but I don't think I will one black one white bead we are decreasing on this side I'm desperate for a new vlog vlogging camera because I don't have it uh, I don't have a good vlogging camera. The camera I have is quite bulky and quite heavy. It's awkward, it's big, it's difficult to carry. One pink bead. If you know of any good, reasonably priced vlogging cameras, 
Let me know. Four white beads. I can't go too expensive. One purple bead. One turquoise bead. I don't think I can go above 200 euros, and that's that's really pushing budget. One purple bead. But because uh, Mario and I are travelling, four white beads are travelling after Christmas as well, so I want a good vlogging camera for them. One pink bead. One white bead. And then one black bead decreasing on this side as well. Thinking about it, I've never had anyone complain about my voiceovers. So that's not bad. One white and one black bead we are decreasing on this row. I've had people complain that I sped up a few tutorials uh, too much. One of them being the owl tutorial. I realise now that I really did speed that up too much, so I will refilm it. Now attaching two white beads. I will refilm the owl tutorial because I sped it up far too much. That was when I was a novice. One turquoise bead. We're so close to being finished, everyone. We're so close. One white bead. One purple. Two turquoise. One purple, one white, one turquoise, three white beads, and one black bead decreasing on this side as well. In fact, we're really decreasing from now on. Exciting. One black one might be decreasing. This bite on my arm is really itchy. I'm doing my best to ignore it. I also have one on my stomach, which is a real pain in the foot. I keep forgetting it's there. A one white bead. Two turquoise. One white bead. One purple. This purple colour is lovely as well. It's more like a lavender than a pinkish purple. One turquoise. I don't know. I just wanted a bit of a lighter purple. I have. Dark, I do do. I do have a darker purple. A one. Another purple bead. Sorry. One white bead. It's late. It's midnight. It's midnight on a Friday night. Two turquoise. I didn't get to sleep till half past three yesterday, uh, this morning actually, half past three this morning. And two white beads. My boyfriend's alarm went off at quarter past six, so I'm lacking sleep. I, uh, yeah. One black bead, we are decreasing on this end. Lovely stuff. And then we've got one black bead, one white bead. We are also decreasing here. But yeah, I've got to get up in six hours. I think I'm going to be tired tomorrow. One white bead. One turquoise bead. My sleeping pattern is completely screwed up because I don't have a, a job job. YouTube is my job at the moment. Two white beads, which is all very well and good, but um, it's not quite enough to pay the bills at the moment. Two purple. Two white beads. One turquoise and two white beads. And one black bead we are decreasing here as well. One black and one white bead we are decreasing once again. Come on, Hannah, get a grip. Go through that bead, you can do it, it shouldn't take you this long. And then we're attaching four white beads. One purple. 
five white beads and one black bead we are decreasing grand well, now we've got two black beads we are decreasing Now I'm attaching a 4mm jump ring. By picking it up I'm just sewing through those two black beads I've just attached a couple of times, making sure the split in the jump ring is facing upwards. That's all I'm doing when I'm farting around off screen right now. I'm making sure that the split on the jump ring is facing upwards and not in the thread. So if it opens slightly it doesn't just ping out because it's really difficult to reattach. Trust me. Now you are going to continue the row by attaching eight white beads. And two black beads on this end, decreasing as before. Now we're going to attach a jump ring in exactly the same way, making sure that the split of the jump ring is facing upwards. If you're using split rings, you don't have such a problem. But yeah, just, yeah, jump rings are a pain in the foot when they come off. Now you just need to sew through your bead, the row before, just a, just a little bit and come out of the second bead of the row that you've just completed. So you've got that end black bead and you're in the, in the second black bead of the row. Now you're going to pick up two more black beads and you are decreasing so you're going to skip that next thread bridge and go through the one after that. So I think it's the third thread bridge in the row, I believe. This is the last row everyone, the last row. Now you're going to sew seven black beads across, which ends up decreasing at the other end in the same place where you decreased on the row before. Yeah! Yeah, you're finished! Sew through the roads and snip off any thread. Well done everyone. If you managed to make it this far into the tutorial, comment your favourite Halloween film below. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support as always does mean a lot to me and why not hit subscribe. I post a new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well. I would love it if you stuck around and joined the party in the corner of craft. If you decide to make anything using one of my tutorials, I would love, love, love to see a picture of it, so please feel free to post a picture on social media using the hashtag The Corner of Craft so I can check it out for myself and see how talented you all are. Links to all materials and where I bought the items are in the description box below, as well as the link to the pattern. Also, all of my social media links are down there as well, and with all that being said, I shall see you in my next video. Bye!